So I'd like you to look in your own classrooms from kindergarten through grade 12 at what responsibilities and decisions are yours and as wise and caring adults, there'll always be ones you need to keep. And what responsibilities and decisions are you willing to give your students? And do you have a plan in your district to constantly increase responsibilities and decision making and decrease limits and boundaries so that when they're leaving your homes and your schools, they're making all of their own decisions and truly responsible for all of their own behavior and not saying things like, well, he made me do it. Another thing I'd like you to look at is mini lectures. Now you all know what a mini lecture is, information the kid already had. Put your coat on, wouldn't be cold. Hadn't hit your brother, wouldn't be up in your room. You and everything on your plate, could add dessert, studied, you wouldn't have failed. But it's like my husband saying to me, if you hadn't put the car in reverse bar, we'd have two cars. You know, I don't need that information. <laughs> but then neither does a kid need to hear, if you had to put your coat on, you wouldn't be cold. Instead, I teach kids why you put your coat on. I hold up a hunk of frozen meat. I say, kids, look at this meat. It doesn't move, does it? It's kind of cold, isn't it? Now, feel your bodies are kind of warm, aren't they? Feel the heart is moving, isn't it? Now, you go on outside with your coat all buttoned up, all the warm air stays in, and there's a good chance your heart will keep moving. But should you go out with it wide open or worse yet, no coat at all, there is a possibility. All the warm air could go out, the cold air could come in, your organs could freeze, heart, kidney, liver, solid, just like this hunk of meat. And the kid's going. <laughs> but you know what, you haven't lied to them. Most kids leaving my class were making a decision on a regular basis not to let their organs freeze. You know what, we gotta think about that. Now, but I have people say, but I can't let him run inside if he makes a lousy choice. I can't let him freeze out there, no. You make it so it works for both of you. You look at the temperature and you talk to the kids about the other side of the buildings, probably a little warmer or colder than this side and the playgrounds over there. Now you don't have to wear your coats out and this will really bug parents. You just need to take it out. And if you decide to wear it, you're welcome to. They get to make a choice. You see, we just gotta be creative in how we let them truly make choices.